the annunciation to Zechariah. As you know, three annunciations to Mary, Joseph, and to Zechariah. How different are they, all the three? Look at them, very interesting. The ways of God. And the way we respond to God's invitation or God's message. Let us look at Zechariah's response. It was too much for him to believe it. Too good to be true. And he could take it. And he responds with the disbelief. Apparently the response of Mary and Zechariah are the same. But are they? Look carefully. You will see there's a big difference. Mary's response was, in my situation, I'm trying to understand this. So Christ's response is, what you are saying, God, doesn't make any sense. So Christ is challenging or questioning the truth of God's word, very difficult. So Christ is questioning the truth in God's word, dangerous territory. You may have doubts and questions, but never question the truth of what God says. So Christ says, come, give me the proof. Give me the, where is the proof? Give me a clue. Let me try to understand what you, give me, where is the clue, the proof? Mary doesn't ask for any proof. Mary says, I'm a virgin. So in my situation, the angel tells him, tells her, nothing to do with you. It is all from above. You have nothing to worry. It's all God's work. Zechariah is asking the Lord, oh, tell me, how does it work? What is the, the I can't see with my brain how you are going to do it. You see, you can see the difference very clearly. What is intriguing is the kind of punishment God gives to Zechariah. I could never understand what is this connection. Look, at very it's a very interesting, revealing connection. What is the connection between when, they, when Zechariah responded to disbelief, he couldn't speak anymore. What is the connection? Think for a moment. What is the connection between Zechariah losing his speech and his response to God? A very interesting connection. You know very well, a person who is born deaf can never speak. A person who is born deaf can never speak because speech and hearing are connected. If you have no hearing, you cannot speak. Here is Sakraya com completely with his hearing close. He's not listening to God. He was deaf. So the angel tells him, you are deaf, aren't you? It means you cannot speak. A great message. Unless you have a hearing, you're open to the word of God. Listen to the word of God. Like Samuel, Lord, you speak, I am listening. You speak, I am listening. Because I don't understand, so I, I want to listen to what you are, because the truth is in your word. Everything you say is true. So Lord, you speak. Who am I to say anything? Who am I? I will speak only after I have heard you. A great message, my dear friends. Do we listen to the word of God? Very often we don't hear because our ears are closed for many reasons. First of all, preconceived notions. 
we have already our own ideas about god about ours you our ears are not really open we we block everything with our own logic and our own reasoning our own preconceived notions another reason is you have a low expectations for example the one giving the talk me in this case me oh he hasn't got a doctorate he is not that highly qualified so i think i know more than him or her again you are blocking the uh, closing your ears to the word of god because of your own preconceived notion that the person talk to me has to be highly qualified the truth is a child can talk to me about god not a doctor a child an uneducated child can speak to me about god's wisdom not a doctor another revelation another reason is we are not really interested i would say the catholics have very poor understanding of the bible the reason i have said million times because we have been trained go to mass have a com- communion go back home all about communion nothing for the word of god no interest in the homily no interest in the reflection you come only for communion how can you have a communion without having a relationship with god which comes through listening to the word of god there's no communion without listening to the word of god so let us get our own life right always be eager be eager to listen to the word of god. every time you you stand up for the word of god keep your ears open god will tell me something i have never heard before no logic no philosophy no theology i am just listening because god is going to tell me something he has never so spoken to me ever before today is a new day and a new revelation